As the struggle to promote domestic tourism continues, the Uganda Tourism Satellite Account Report indicates that local tourists spend about 61.9% on transport just to get to their destination. And where did these domestic tourists spend their money? And we are seeing that for every shilling that a Ugandan has, 96% of that money is spent on either transport, food, accommodation and shopping. So transport takes the highest, 61% of every shilling of Ugandans. If numbers don't lie, as is commonly said, this should inform government action to make sure more Ugandans visit their country. Well, now the question is, government will have now to work more on roads, on roads, so that Ugandans can spend less time traveling and spend more time on accommodation, like the homebound tourists. But I want to comfort him by saying that there is a standing instruction from cabinet to the Minister of Works to work on tourism roads is it? in the country, tourism roads in the country. So far, the figures released in the initial satellite report indicate that foreign tourists contribute the biggest portion to earnings at 1.2 billion US dollars, while domestic tourism contributes slightly over 800 million US dollars. The sector's contribution to GDP was 3.6% to 7.9 trillion shillings. In absolute terms, the sector contributed 5.1 trillion shillings. Ugandans spent 1.6 trillion shillings on travel abroad. Now all the impacts and the data is well understood. And therefore, each of the stakeholders now knows what to do. So I think from that angle then it should be, how is this CSA helping us to make better policies? Or what policies are required to actually improve on the, on the tourism industry? In the quest for data-driven decision-making, one of Uganda's biggest forex earners, the tourism sector is hopefully off to a good start. Rachel Navisubi, NTV Business.